Sadly, if I was a uh, better planner, then I would have had tomatoes and spinach as well, but I'm not, so I don't. <laughs> I have three Linda McCartney sausages that I'm gonna put in the oven now in this baking tray. When they've got, when they've been in probably 10 minutes, I'll add um, bacon and mushrooms and um, let it all cook in the oven. And that will be my sad breakfast. Um, please plan better than me and have spinach and tomatoes available. It may seem slightly odd, but uh, because the weather is vile, but I'm actually having an iced coffee this morning just because I really, really love them. And um, so I've just made my little bit of coffee and then Alpro have finally released their barista almond milk. And this is what I've been having in my coffee all week instead of coconut. Um, I compared the macros and this one, the coconut has a lot higher saturated fat. This one has 0.1, the coconut had 0.9. Um, other than that, calorie wise, I think this one's like four calories more per 100 mils. Um, but this one had more, uh, it was higher in a couple of the good macros. I've got a feeling it was higher in protein, maybe even in fiber. Um, but basically I reckon that they'll be adding this as a healthy extra A, even though it's not on the app yet. So I have been rather assuming that they're going to, but to be honest, um, I th it's, this stuff is so good. I'm so addicted to Costa almond milk and that's the Alpro almond milk for professionals. And I was even at the point where I was considering buying a case of this stuff off Amazon because I really love it. Um, and uh, and Alpro have just done me a solid, oh no, and released it. Don't you just hate it when this happens and you can't, ah, thank God for that. Sometimes they go really wrong, don't they? Um, anyway, this one's been in the fridge and as you can see, I've got my ice in my glass. So, um, by the way, with ice in, this glass holds, that'll be 250, 300 mils. So I'm just calling it one healthy extra A, even though it's less. And then I'll just pop my coffee over the top. I measured that very badly. Spilt it all over the side as well. But there we go. That will all merge together and become a beautiful iced coffee. It's just so beautiful get stirring. I think that'll do. Well, that's not my ideal breakfast, but there is a lot of speed, so. It will do, and we're having loads of veggies at lunch, so it's fine. Right, just making lunch on day seven. If you're on the actual plan, it's day six, but I'm, this is my last day, because I do this one on the first day. So, mix it curry powder with soy yogurt and coat vegan style chicken pieces. Instead of chicken, I'm using smoked tofu. The reason I'm using smoked is just because I was worried that there wouldn't be that much flavor, so um, that's why. Mix curry powder with soy yogurt. This is our soy yogurt that is sin free, no sugars. So I'm going to mix curry powder with that one in here, chop, drain and chop up my tofu, mix it through. Then we're going to thread it onto skewers with red onion, pepper, and courgette. Serve that over a bed of quinoa. Happy days. Right, so I coated all my tofu pieces in the curried yogurt, and then I've um, cut the right amount of veg, which is always really, really pleasing. Um, I did them all the same except this one, so that's really bugging my OCD, but let's move on. Um, once I'd, I, as I was doing the tofu, I kind of scooped up as much yogurt as I could for each one. And then at the end, I've just gone over, and you can probably see I've just dolloped the remaining bits on it, um, which is why it's looking a bit drippy. But I didn't want to waste any because I thought it's not really the kind of thing you can use for something else. So I have managed to use all of the mixture I made and uh, this is now going to go in the oven on the top shelf on, I think I've got it on 200 with the fan on. So that should 
go nice and crispy. Obviously there's quite a lot here. I'm gonna have some now on quinoa and I'm gonna take the rest um, with me tomorrow on my fossil hunt. Perfect pack up food. Whilst my um, skewers are in the oven, I'm actually gonna cook my green lentils for my spaghetti bolognese this evening as well, just because it's um, a good time to get that out of the way and it'll make cooking tonight um, feel a lot more flowy. So um, I'm using a slightly bigger saucepan than I need because I will cook the spaghetti in it later. So, you know, always try and minimize your washing up. Now, the amount of green lentils that I have left is probably about two and a half cups worth. And I'm probably just gonna use all of them if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I use all of them. Um, this should make hopefully three or four portions. So we'll see. I'm not cooking them in, actually no, I will. I'm gonna cook them in a stock cube. So this is just cold water. I've got a stock cube in there as well. I do tend to start things off with cold water because, um, just cause, well, I'm lazy, but also um, in this case, it's fine to do so because really the longer the lentils cook, you know, it's not gonna make a difference. It doesn't matter if they go a bit mushy or falling apart because it'll just make the sauce thicker and nicer. So um, this is just kind of soaking time really. I mean, these don't need soaking, they only take about 20 minutes to boil, but um, there we have it. Anywho. Righty ho, I have chopped one big onion, two stalks of celery and the last carrot that I had. The lentils have done their draining, they've been there for ages. Um, so I've just put the um, heat on this ring and I've got a small amount of water in the bottom and I'm just gonna cover this up to get it steaming to get these veg done. After about 10 minutes, they should be good to go, at which point I'll add the rest of the ingredients. At this point, if you realized I forgot garlic, so I've now added two large cloves of garlic and that is just simmering away nicely. Okay, this is now softened, if you can see through the steam. I did add a splash more water, but we've just dried out again. So before too long passes, I'll just quickly add the passata. I've also added probably about half a teaspoon each of basil and oregano, and about half to one teaspoon of uh, a seasonal, the reduced salt uh, seasonal or all-purpose seasoning if you are in America which I doubt you are. So there's my garlic and herb passata going in. So we'll give that a stir and then I'll add in my lentils, pop the lid on and just let it all simmer down. Which by the way, is a really good song um, called Simmer Down by, by, oh no, I've forgotten his name. Oh, Kamani Mali and uh, a couple of other people, but he's the main one. Very good song. So there we go, that's that. And there is all the lentils going in, which was obviously quite a lot, but this is our, our mince, as it were. Get off. Right, there we go. Let's give that a nice mix in. I'll pop the lid on and I'll get the pasta in because I think that's going to take quite a long time to cook. Um, I've got the wiggly pasta that I found that was completely unnecessary to buy. It's quite fun. Um, I don't know what it was called. It was some posh pasta name, but look, it's actually long pieces. That's obviously where they've had it on the rack drying. Um, and interestingly, it's actually hollow. So there's a fun fact. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that on to cook now. I'm gonna mix this in a little bit better. Oopsie. Mix that in a little bit better. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper because at the moment we've got no salt in there. And um, yeah, just let it simmer down. I just realized I haven't shaved my face in today's video, so. Hello, I have no makeup on, this is why. And also, my hair is a mess. I got it cut this morning after it had already partially dried. And uh, since then I've been rained on about three times, so that's why I didn't particularly want to be on camera, but then 
since I've been uploading uh, some of this series of videos, I um, realised that I was going to have to split them into uh, separate days because it was just too long to do in one big video, uh, just for practicality really. So um, yeah, can't really have a video not showing my face at all I don't think, um, after all the others did. So sorry about that, here I am. Your loss. Anyway, dinner is ready and nom nom nom. I'm happy with that. Um, I'll just show you the other rest of the bolognese. Three other portions, it's completely sin free, so this works very well. Hashtag carnage. Um, there is my portion for my dinner, and I'm going to put some nutritional yeast on. This is one sin per tablespoon if you are doing the swimming world. Um, I've actually pretty much done my clearing up. The dishwasher's loaded. I just need to chuck this stuff in when it's cooled down a bit, get this out, and I'm done. So, I think on that note, we will end this series of video. I really, really hope they've been helpful for you. Um, a little bit different. Um, I hope you like the PDF as well, because um, I had a lot of positive feedback last time I did. Uh, many plan with shopping list recipes and instructions. So, um, hopefully that has... Um, yeah, just been helpful to you guys. Thanks so much for watching if you're still with me. Um, please do remember to like my videos and subscribe if you're not already. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you and um, you know, this isn't your professional YouTube channel. This is just me just trying to get some vegan swimming world ideas out there because I don't really, I don't think there is a lot out there and um, certainly as a vegan on swimming world, I struggled to begin with. Um, I found that I was having a real lack of ideas. I found that everyone in group spoke about eggs and cheese and quark or quark, whatever you call it. Um, and I really didn't know how to apply that um, to myself as a vegan. So since, um, I mean, since the time I joined Slimming World, things have changed a lot. A lot of new products have been released. And, you know, we now do have alternatives to a lot of this stuff. And, you know, with the advent of even having a healthy extra A cheese, I mean, things are only gonna get better for us. So um, I think companies are just waking up to what vegans actually want in their in their products. And veganism is such a growing trend at the moment. You know, I say veganism, I mean plant-based really, because people are just doing it for diets and stuff. So it's not really veganism, but that's another subject. The point is, <laughs> um, it's great for everyone to eat less meat. So if that's you, thanks for watching. If you're a vegan, well done. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.